What's up guys, my name is Jimmy Champagne and today I'm here to talk to you about Alien Covenant. But actually, no, I'm here to talk to you about the entire Alien universe and its awesome fashion sense. Seriously, everything in those movies looks really cool even though it also looks like it has a use. And one of my favorite things that pops up in literally every Alien movie is a bomber jacket. And so, instead of just going online and buying one that someone else made, I thought it'd be really cool to make my own. So, I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. This is this is the one I made, just, just in case that wasn't clear. So. The first thing you have to do, of course, is buy your jacket and your patches. This is the easy part. All you gotta do is go to Amazon, type in bomber jacket, and just pick one out. If you pay for a $20 jacket, you're gonna get a $20 jacket. So I went in the middle ground of around $35 to $40, I think this was, and I really like it. So the one snag you probably will hit on Amazon, though, even if you do pick a prime jacket, is you're gonna hit these Asian brands where you're gonna have to buy a few sizes up. Don't feel bad. This is a 4XL, and I'm medium. It, it, it feels weird to buy that stuff, but don't don't worry, it, it's, it's, it's just how it is. So you're gonna have to go a few sizes up, but your jacket will come in a couple days. And the reason I chose this one is because I really like the navy blue look. I thought these lines kind of made it look futuristic, like it actually fit in the alien universe. And uh, you know, bomber jackets are in right now, so you can't really go wrong there. So now that you have your jacket, you've gotta get your patches. So the first patch I went with was the Wayland yutani patch. And I went with this one because that's gotta be on every alien jacket. That's a huge part of the alien universe. And it looks pretty cool right here over the the chest. This one will run you about six bucks no matter where you get it. You can probably get it a little cheaper on Etsy, but then you're gonna wait a little bit longer for it to ship to you. So you pay a little more, you get it a lot quicker. That that was the trade-off I made. So when you have your Whalen Utani patch, you've got to get a patch from one of the ships from the alien universe. And while I really wanted to go with Covenant, I had to go with the Nostromo because Alien is my favorite movie in the franchise, so I thought that was the way to go. So now that you have your jacket and your patches, you've got to get the patches onto the jacket. So the patches are probably going to be iron on but that's a really easy way to ruin your jacket and those patches aren't going to stay on if you iron them so the next best thing is to sew them on I don't know how to sew but my girlfriend did so I very nicely asked her to help me out and uh, thankfully she said yes and helped me sew these patches on so what you're going to need to sew the patches on if you're going to do it yourself you're going to need sewing needles you're going to need safety pins you know to hold the patch in place so it doesn't get you know, kind of wonky and turned the wrong way. And then you're also gonna need thread. I went with black for the Wayland yutani patch because it's a black patch. And then here you could go either way for the for the Nostromo patch, you could go royal blue, you could go black. I went royal blue because that kind of matched the patch, but it's totally up to you. You could even go navy to match the jacket. But once you have all that stuff, you're ready to sew. So that'll take you probably about an hour. My girlfriend's a really quick sewer. It took her about 45 minutes, but if, if this is your first time, I would probably say uh, budget out about one to two hours to get the sewing done. So when you're done sewing, you're done with the jacket. It's as simple as that. I'd estimate that this will cost you about $60 total and probably take two to three hours of work. And it's kind of fun. You can just throw on a TV show, throw on the alien movies that you haven't seen in a few years and just make a whole Friday night out of it. That's what I did and I think it was totally worth it. So if you haven't seen Alien Covenant yet, you should definitely check out my review, which you can find right here. It's my most watched video of all time, and I think that's really cool. So if you already watched it, thanks a lot. If you haven't, you know where to click. Uh, but as always, guys, I'm Jimmy Champagne, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.